All right, hope everybody's been doing well. Sorry about taking so long to get another video done, but uh, I seem to have uh, figured out how to film a video again. So you're looking at a book that was sent to me by uh, the guy that was buying food, real nice guy, Frank McKee. And uh, there are some really, really, really bad jokes in there. And you're going to get to hear them over uh, the next few videos. How cool is that? All right, I thought, thought I'd do an update on uh, some fish I haven't shown for a while. The uh, They're technically yellow uh, cobras. Uh, yeah, I call them yellow lay snake skins because I uh, tend to forget what the heck I'm talking about. No, because they're they're actually close to being a a snake skin, but they're really not. They don't have the intricate uh, interlocking pattern, the males, on the body. I'll see if I can get one of them to actually show up. That's uh, it's a cobra to me. It's not enough of a lace snake skin. So these are adults, obviously. Uh, this guy is okay. He's just uh, lazy. And I really like how these have turned out. Uh, very happy with them. Which is why I like the way they turned out. Now this female is not too far off from having fry. Probably another week or so. And they are in a small photo tank. Uh, not in their regular five and a half. Uh, I just try to use a small tank with crosses. Either a two and a half or a five and a half. And... Uh, four fish, I really don't want to keep in a two and a half. So I got some good growth on them. The only thing I didn't like was, it might just be my eyes are going, but I sort of was seeing a bit of a red coloration, orange, at the base of the, well, at the bottom part of the tail near the end on a couple of them. But everything else is so nice about them, that I, I keep using them because uh, getting some beautiful fish out of them. The problem is with a little bit of red I'll end up getting some fry that grow out to have more of a red tail. So what I decided to do uh, to try to get around that is I did the cross again uh, use a yellow delta female, a red snakeskin and I'll show them next because uh, you might as well actually know what I'm talking about. So what would you get if a bird got caught in a lawnmower? Shredded tweet. Shredded tweet. That's from that book. Oh, you're going to hate these videos if you don't already. All right, and uh, this is a mail from the next generation out of her. Now she just had fry again, which is why she looked a little bit hollowed out. The yellow deltas uh, really don't have a lot of color, the females. I do get some that are like a goldish one. And what I did was I used a, uh, a younger female that's now old, because I've been doing this for, for months. And that's uh, the male, and I really, don't see any red at all yet so it may take longer than uh, one shot to get things going but uh, she uh, is just gonna relax in a two and a half gallon tank with the male and the reason for that is I want to go from the yellow lace snakeskin or yellow cobra uh, fry that she had uh, back to her to see if I can set the strain a little bit better. Now, this one actually so far looks like a snake skin. Uh, then again, my eyes could be going. So she's not really curved. That's uh, the small photo tank. So she's uh, not looking too great, but they never do look too great after having fry. So anyway, like I said, I like. Uh, the results a lot and I'm hoping that he's gonna open up his dorsal a little bit these guys really don't cooperate just wanted you to see that it's kind of small so far and the, the dorsal tends to grow 
later in their life because when you have uh, baby guppies they spend like the first month eating like pigs and that all that goes into growth of the you know the body etc and then after about six eight weeks of still eating like pigs uh, it starts going into the uh, the color and uh, the fin shape etc etc so anyway so that's uh, the original female of the fry you're going to see next uh, with one of the fry from her and a little bit of dirt in there it's actually because it's a small tank you can see that the dorsal's got longer uh, I would like them to get a little bit longer go a little bit further into the tail which is partially why I'm still using these guys even though I see a little bit of red tint like I said so uh, let me get to the other ones this is another group of her fry that uh, have grown out and I just don't like that that the base of the tail uh, some of them have a more pronounced uh, either spot of no color or a gray spot now this one's starting to show a little red so he's probably going to go into another cross and so far no uh, red out of the other ones that one's a little iffy but this has been a very successful cross uh, very happy with uh, uh, the, the way they develop and the body pattern and like I said I just want to get the uh, the red out and I also would like to get the dorsals longer and also that gray spot out so now this female I'm gonna have to put somewhere else because I can see some red at the top of her tail and that's probably what's going in to the males tails and giving them a little bit of red so like I said these are just in a photo tank and they're gonna go back into a 10 and I just thought you'd like to see them because uh, they're very cool looking and I'm you know a few other people have them I don't know how they got them whether they bought them or made them uh, I just I kind of like making them from the crosses and when I get results like this I'm uh, kind of glad I did it and I'm not taking up too many tanks with these uh, right now it's three or four tanks and, and one of the tanks is you know small so what did the termites say when they saw a house on fire barbecue tonight barbecue tonight oh these are bad jokes but hey they're free all right so that's what's going on with uh with these they have nice color nice pattern i uh, just have to work on the three things i mentioned uh about four times in the video so uh also one of the things i do uh i bought this uh I think it's actually for like food storage for like flour or sugar etc etc and uh, see if I can put my grubby hand in there so what I do is the plants grow so uh, quickly in my tanks this is thin leaf water sprite and this whole thing is full of it uh, just like I'm full of it with the jokes so I uh, then we'll move on and put the plants into uh, other tanks after I rinse it off. Now this water is just treated regular tap water and these plants will stay in there for a little while. Probably take me a week to go through them all and uh, what I do is I put them in other tanks where the plants look like they're crapping out or the uh, fish may have eaten the plants or the plants died but there's quite a bit in there and uh, the reason for it being in a little thing of water is because I don't have any tanks to leave them in and by being in a clear container if I put it near a window or near some light uh, the plants will uh, continue to grow but I, I gotta get them out within a certain length of time I think the longest I've ever gone is about 10 days because then the water will just get uh, dirty or plants will get all messed up. But that works out pretty good. 
and it's probably going to lead into another video I'll do which will probably be one of these days of different containers and stuff that I use for uh, the fish room and also for raising the fish so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll have another one up soon it won't take uh, 10 days again so thanks again for watching if you have any questions uh, you can email me I put the email address in the item video description or you can uh, put them in the comments and I do appreciate the people that watch and that leave comments and uh, thanks for hanging with me while I've been a little slow and getting uh, uh, some videos going but I try to make sure they're videos I like uh, before I put them up and the last video I mentioned that I was running a, a sale on the foods that I sell the high protein the ultimate veg veggie flake and the ultimate meat flake or the high protein uh, fry blend which is the same as the other high protein but it's uh, less coarse material finer material so it's easier for the fry to eat and uh, it's also for all kinds of fish so anyway if you're interested in that I'll still leave it at 2 for 21 uh, not through the auctions because I have no control over that but through uh, emailing me and saying I watched the video and I want to buy some food all right take care